Well, when I uh, uh, stop working, so I have uh, a lot of time, and uh, I happen to meet with the ministers who are implementing this uh, policy, and the announcement has been made in website for almost a year, and nobody applied for any application to the government, and this is something about uh, knowledge that maybe they don't have enough knowledge to the people so then that's why this minister asked me please do some study since i am unemployment so then i spend a lot of uh, my time uh, looking at all the information that related to the projects so how much uh, sun thailand should have because we don't have any big data at all so then i look at the country that in like in Germany or in Australia or in many other countries as they start using a bit of uh, solar at that time they can still make it not commercial but they need a lot of uh, a business model that tailor made to suit to make it happen so then the more I study the more I want to do it uh, so then I uh, uh, am a kind of person that when I write something, I do my business model, I use pencil and I do my own calculations with calculator so then I will remember every single numbers uh, you know so that I think is is uh, possible at that time and uh, so this is how I have faith uh, I build up the faith from my own heart. I believe that I can do so, but how can I convince others? This is the most important thing. How can we explain the things that never happened before uh, to the banks to, uh, to help finance the project, right? So then uh, I walked to many banks and many banks uh, denied because they don't understand the project and many banks even said well this is not the works for uh, women to do this kind of thing with pioneer with my age at that time and uh, so until the last bank their color is green so i said to the president sir if you don't lend me the money you have to consider changing the color of the bank because my project is also green so this is because i was so tiring explaining to every uh, banks how how the, the how does solar works and how uh, we believe that it's going to be a commercial viable so this is thing that i started from beginning but uh, we the, the first project uh, investment cost like 21 million us dollar at that time which is lots of money from you know, retirement women to come back to work and to have the first project executed. So, uh, 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 so we need to understand how much uh, finance. I mean, the banks will finance the project, right? So then, uh, the last one that I went, the bank Kasikon Bank. Uh, so they agree to support with the DE ratio of sixty percent. Uh, equity 40% so then I have with the of, of course with my personal guarantee this is killing me to make this decision because uh, from uh, year 1997 uh, which is a crash economic crash around the world so then people have a lot of problem with personal guarantee because personal guarantee something wrong with the project banks take everything so then it means that my life I put into it right so but took me three days before I can make this decision because I have so much belief and so much faith that I want to move this project if I can make it happen so then it means that I can change the pace of energy production from conventional to the solar energy so which is clean and less no cost and uh, is around the world everyone can have it so then uh, I have to look for equity for 40 percent which is around eight million dollars right so then I talk to many of my friends many of the investors so I have difficulty convincing them I turn up got eight thousand dollars eight thousand dollars from eight million dollars so then because i really want to do it so then i talked to my family my husband my daughters and everyone my mother we agreed to sell the house 
and some lands. And in a short period of time to sell the house and to sell the land, I don't get the price like I supposed to get. But all the uh, money that we receive is just enough for equity for the first project. So bank has to put into what they call escrow account. So then before bank starting to considering uh, all the due diligence for financing the first project. So the first project was implemented on 21st April 2010 with a very great support from Gasikon Bank and uh, and this is how the, 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 the first project happened. So then the bank said, I have to uh, uh, wait for another three months uh, to get the result. So then, uh, uh, by the way, before before banks start to supporting financing to the first projects, so we have to hire all the professional uh, companies like Mod Magnono from England to be like technical advisor, uh, Aon uh, Insurance Company to be like advisory for insurance, Baker McKenzie to be like legal advisory to the project, both borrower and lender. So this is something that's so much, I never see all the, you know, expensive, uh, 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 they chant by, by hour. Mm -hmm. So we cannot say hello, we cannot say good morning, we have to go right into the question. <laughs> <laughs> so this is something that we experienced uh, the first project. And uh, so with in the first three months, I do nothing, right? After the first project implemented. So every morning I will call the site in Korat, which is about four hours away from Bangkok. So how's the sun today? How's the uh, uh, rain? How's the weather? So uh, if, if everything okay, so then no problem. So we have to work from sunrise to sunset. Uh, office hour is sunrise to sunset that we don't have a uh, fixed hour. So then because uh, sun will come earlier in the summer season and will go faster in the winter season. So we change the hour working according to the seasoning of the uh, uh, country. So with Thailand with three seasons, hot, hotter and hottest. Uh, with rain sometimes, but not, you know, like uh, uh, in, 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 in UK. So, but anyway, first three months, the result from the first solo farm is like 30% better than the bank's expectation. This is how I get the first project started. Before I got into this project, I already stopped working. So I already take my early retirement and, uh, and it's uh, quite difficult also for, to set up power inside me. Because when you want to move something, uh, you really need a lot of your internal power. So then, uh, and three years being a uh, uh, because my husband uh, worked for the government and he has to become the governor in one of the province in Thailand. So then I have to uh, be the first first lady in that province. And he said if if I if I don't go, so he will he will he will find my assistant. So then this is something that I take decision that okay in we have enough in life, so we should share back to society to people. Uh, helping others, things like that. And uh, when I come back to work again, I have to admit that I lose certain confidence in business like decision. So then is uh, uh, my belief is that when we want to make things happen, we have to have the belief, we have to have the faith on anything we want to do. And if we don't have that kind of feeling, we cannot convince if you cannot convince yourself, how can you convince others? I have to uh, understand what banks' uh, mindset. Yeah? So because uh, uh, banks is our financial institute, they are supporting 60% of the project cost, right? So what they concern is that what happened if the project not commercial viable how can we get the the, the 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 payback to the bank because bank also using other people money to make money on top of those uh, portion so then we have to make sure that bank can reach 
every information like we do. So then they have the what McDonald come in anytime they like. So we have to do like monthly report, and we have to have we put everything together like insurance, like uh, security, like all the data that happen every day. So then we are not counting uh, 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 month by month. So we check every day and we give them report, mm -hmm. and so. They feel more comfortable. The more they feel comfortable, it means that they're giving a support to to the to the projects. Yeah. So then, uh, when the first project uh, success, which is around May, June, July, so we have to start with uh, we have total of 36 projects or about 260 megawatts at that time in total investment around. 800 million US dollars. Even for the first project, I don't have enough equity. So then Bank said to me, oh, I have to look for a very good partners to join the projects in order to build the confidence to other investors. And we have to uh, bring the company listed in the stock market in order to raise the fund to be capital of the second, the third, fourth projects inside that because uh, raising funds from the capital market uh, be by listing company, that's the best cost in the world. Mm -hmm. So then uh, all this happened in, in four years time. So then I, I asked banks uh, what kind of uh, partner to create confidence to investor because this project still very, very new to the people. and. Uh, how does solar energy become uh, electricity, things like that. So a lot of uh, questions from many investors those day. So then they said, oh, you have to uh, get like World Bank. Mm -hmm. So I don't know any of uh, World Bank office. So I Google uh, World Bank and I found the address in Hong Kong, India, uh, Philippines, Washington DC, things like that. I thought maybe Hong Kong is the best place so we can go shopping, we can visit uh, World Bank. So I fly immediately to, to, to Hong Kong and knock door. And I, they, said, they asked me, why are you here for? So I said, I want to invite you to invest in our projects. So then they said, oh, I, I come to the wrong place. I should have gone to Philippines because that's the place where I have to submit the applications. So then I fly to Philippines later on. So then it took me like three months uh, with the due diligence, heavily due diligence that World Bank uh, set up. But they believe in the projects mm -hmm. and I and I convinced them with the green concept. So this helps CO2 reduction, this help a uh, new patch of energy production in the world. So if we can make it happen, so other part, other countries in this part of the world can learn how to make it happen in their own countries. Yeah. Well, uh, number one, you have to get yourself education right so then uh, if you don't get chance by any problem from family from uh, from your your own situation when you get chance that you can do something you can earn uh, 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 your own living things like that you must get more education that's the first thing and the second thing is that when you learn anything when you work on any works so that's the lesson learned Right, so then you must take it as one of the book, as one of the subject. So then use this to become your lesson in the future, and uh, always reach the best. I will always give everyone satisfaction, you know. So then be patient and be believe in yourself, and then do work hard and reach the target.